Greetings, Jerry Ultimate Power Gamer here after a long hiatus. Had some stuff going on, but now I'm back. So it's going to be me versus the man, the myth, the legend, Bob. Say hi, Bob. Hi, Jerry. How's it going? Oh, doing fine. Hey, so we're going to be playing a little Kings of War. We're going to be playing, we rolled the loot scenario. It's going to be my Empire of Dust versus his... Forces of nature. Forces of nature with a fiery flare. So we'll be right back here in a minute. We're going to go over the table and let you know what the army looks like. So we'll be right back. All right, here we are back. Let's start off. Bob, tell me about your forces of nature army. All right. Well, let's just go over the meat of it. We have six hordes of fire elementals. Oh, let me get that. Mm -hmm. We have a horde there. Six hordes. Okay. One of them here with the token on it has the Mace of Crushing. Okay. Then we have a greater fire elemental right here. Okay. Got two hordes of Sylph Talon Riders. Those customized Sylph Talon yep. Riders so that they're mantic parts. Yep, this is my mantic army. Yep. We have a druid over here. He's right, actually uh, not a human, but. Whoop, got that. There he is. Okay. Druids don't have to be humans. He's got the Shroud of the Saints. Okay. And then this druid over here has. Yeah, druid uh, right there. Oh my goodness. He has the Surge spell and the Bane Chant spell. Okay, cool. So we'll go over my army real quick Empire of Dust. Da 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 da. Okay, right over here in this corner, I have a mummy regiment. Behind them, I have two regiments of scavengers. Here, I have um, allies, quarter ogre shooters. Behind them, I have an ogre standard bear. Uh, I've got two hordes of enslaved guardian archers with a cursed high priest with heal and surge behind them. I have a horde of revenants. They've got the brewer's strength and they have defense five. Next to them is a standard bear, unpainted, sorry, working on it. He's got the Bane Chan item. Next to them is a horde of skeleton spearmen. They've got the uh, hammer of measured force. And next to them is another regiment of um, mummies. So we're gonna roll off here. We roll the loot scenario. We have a token here in the center. And then let me zoom this out so we have a better look. There we are, much better. We have a token there in the center. And then here we have the other tokens. Uh, we're playing with all woods. We have a wood right here and a wood right there, a height two. We have flat difficult terrain there, flat difficult terrain there, and two pink height two hills, uh, obstacles on this end, and we have two height six um, buildings. Basically, we play with the hills as being height two and the woods and blocking terrain being height six. We're going to roll off to see who goes first, and we'll be right back after the first turn. Okay, so Bob ended up getting the first turn, and here's what we did. His wall of fire elementals just basically moved up six, including the giant there. Uh, characters moved up. These guys moved into position to do some shooting. We'll be right back after the shooting. I wonder where he's going to shoot. Let you know in a minute. Okay, so the end of Bob's shooting phase, his self talent riders, the hordes, they doubled up and did six wounds here. And here he got a surge five. So go ahead and roll it. Two dice. All right, here's the nerve check. Two dice, and he rolls snake eyes. That's right. psh, dead matter. We'll be right back after my turn. One. Okay, into my turn one movement. Basically, these mum uh, mummies came up. Those guys came up in position. We did a halt all across there. Uh, these guys all came up there five inches. For shooting, all three, that's 54 shots, ended up shooting here. Only did five wounds out of 54. Needed sixes. I'm going to roll for that right now. Five and six is 11, so didn't do anything. We'll be right back after Bob's turn two. Here we are in a turn, turn, uh, turn two movement for the forces of nature. These guys basically moved up into position a little bit all along here. Uh, the one unit there moved just a smidge and the other unit didn't move at all. I think we're going to be seeing some surging and a little healing going on here in a minute. So we'll be right back after the shooting phase. Here we are into turn two. Okay, basically he did a little breath weapon, did one wound to the mummies there. Silly me, forgot I had healed, did not heal these guys. So they have 14 wounds on them now. Uh, he was able to heal four, so they only have one. Snake eyes twice over here, please. Roll your dice, snake eyes right. twice. We're gonna roll right now. Yeah. Roll. I attempt to bane chant over here. Failed failed to bane chant. So here's the nerve check. On the one more time. Arch. He rolled Snake Eyes first turn when it didn't matter. Now it matters he won't. On. So my Guardian Archers are gone. We'll be back after my turn too. Okay, so here we go. These mummies moved up here. Didn't fail to regen. Uh, this one unit of scavengers charged here. This unit of scavengers charged there. Uh, Mr. Battle Standard Bear moved up here in the way so he could block to stop them from siding because these ogres charged there. Uh, these guys moved up on the hill. That whole line moved up and got in position. We're going to try to do a surge here in a minute. Uh, that's, my only shirting, sh uh, that's my only shooting, so we'll be right back after I do a 
Okay, into my shooting phase. I did a surge 10, only got a five, needed a seven, so fail charge there. We'll be right back after combat. Okay, so into combat, the scavengers wanted something. This regiment did four there. This regiment did three there. These ogres did six there. Wasn't able to break anybody. We'll be right back. Here we are, end of forces of nature, turn three. Charge, charge, double charge, charge, flank charge, counter charge, counter charge, counter charge. We have some heals done, and then we're going to go into hand to hand. Be right back. Okay, end of the force of nature shooting phase for turn three. We have two heals on those guys who had six. They're down to two now. They healed four. Be right back after combat. Okay, end of forces of nature turn three combat. Seven wounds there survive. Seven wounds there survive. Twelve wounds there between two survive. Four wounds there survive. Uh, flank charge did a lot. Did a lot. Did a lot. Woohoo! They survived. So we'll be right back after turn three movement for the Empire Dust. Here we go. Into turn three Empire Dust. We did a counter charge there. weren't able to fit in there, so couldn't do the counter charge. He just moved out to be able to inspire. We actually did a counter charge here. We charged into the unit right there. Um, she charged in there. Mummy's charged the flank there. Didn't regen, and these guys did a counter charge there. We'll be right back after hand to hand. So, end of the Empire Dust third uh, turn, hand to hand combat. Charge did five, didn't do anything, didn't fit. We did Bane Chant here. Counter charge did five on them, didn't do anything. Missed there. Uh, this combo did five wounds, didn't do anything. Didn't do any wounds there. We'll be right back after turn four for the Forces of Nature. Okay, here we are, the end of movement for Forces of Nature turn four. Did a counter charge, charge. Charge and counter charge there. Counter charge here. Charge there. That's the front, not the flank. Mm -hmm. Charge in the flank. Counter charge there. All right, so we'll be right back after he does a couple heals and we do combat. All right, here we are, the end of turn four combat. Uh, quick on the shooting, we did some healing there. <laughs> Doesn't matter, we'll show you in a minute. Uh, these guys wiped out the mummies. These guys did more wounds here. Uh, didn't break them, of course. These guys charged in. These guys are at 17 now with a double charge. Uh, they knocked out the caster. These guys knocked out the... Um, they just picked up the token. They just picked up the token there. These guys knocked out the standard bearer and the ogre shooters. And oh, look, this guy, he's just really whopping. They're actually up to seven. He couldn't break them. We'll be right back after turn four for the Empire of Death. Okay, into turn four for the Empire Dust. Was unable to close the door here, so didn't get to do that charge because they aren't flush across. Did another charge here, did a few more wounds, unable to break. Um, over here, did a counter charge, did no wounds. Uh, we'll be right back after turn five for the Forces of Nature. What a smackdown. So here you are, the end of turn five. Double charge there, knocks them out. Double charge there, knocks them out. Uh, over there, of course, knocked that out. Uh, he advanced to pick up the token there. That guy already had the token. These guys flew over and picked up the token there. Uh, that was a quick bat rip. Bat rip. Look at that guy. Wow. That was a quick bat rip. That's a really strong army. Um, we'll be back. Well, actually, we don't even need to do a breakdown. Um, let's see. This is like uh, Bob and I have played um, about, I think, six games. In the last couple of weeks, and out of six games, I have won one, and he's beaten me five times. He is the man. Did you hear that, Mr. Holy Diver? <laughs> so we have Bob, the breaker of breaker of worlds. All right. So uh, thanks for watching. Love to hear any comments. See you next time. Bye.